It's our fake anniversary. On the seventh is our actual anniversary. We literally just got pulled over by the cops. 10 minutes in and we decided it was not fun. <laughs> Hey guys, it is me and Ryan's fan anniversary, and I call it fan anniversary today because it's our fake anniversary. On the 7th is our actual anniversary. Ryan's school starts on the 5th, so that sucks. It's like a random Thursday, but my school starts on the 9th, and I could go to Athens and celebrate with him on the 7th, but I just really needed to go back earlier because on the 8th, I have to be there kind of early in Orlando for some sorority things. So I didn't want to like drive that day because it would be too tiring. So I think I'm just going to go back early or as early as I can. Right now I'm just doing my makeup. It's currently 9.25. So it's not too early, but I feel like I got up really early. And it's like really still gloomy outside. Like the past few days it's been raining and I can't deal with this anymore. I need my sunshine state. So basically what we're doing is going to have a little Atlanta Explore Day. I think that's like one of our favorite things to do together is just like explore Atlanta. I think I personally have gained more of an appreciation when I left for college, but he didn't leave. I think he's always really liked it. Yeah, that's one of our favorite things to do is just do fun things around the city. So first we're gonna hit up Crog Street Tunnel. I've never been there. It's always been on my bucket list. I totally forgot about it. Um, what I did was I like Pinterest did what to do in Atlanta. And it, that sounds so stupid because I like lived here for like what my whole life and still can't think of anything to do but I feel like we've done it all basically because like I was literally like sitting there checking off like almost everything on that bucket list. We haven't been to Crog Street Tunnel or Crog Street Market but honestly it looks pretty similar to uh, Pond City Market so I might just save that for another day. Then after that we want to go ice skating at Park Tavern I think it's called. It's I think it's in Piedmont Park or somewhere near it. It looked really cool online. Hopefully we can do that because we found a Groupon and it was like $8 for two people. That's insane, okay? Because like Avalon was like 18 for one. We want to go to the Skyline Park. Um, it's on top of Pond City Market and they have like rides and stuff. I don't know if we're actually gonna like go on the rides because I know they cost extra and to get on the Skyline Park is $10 which is honestly not that much I thought it would be like $30 um before I like looked it up so I'm really excited for today because I feel like it's gonna be really fun one of my sorority friends sent me Sue's high picture yesterday and I was like how could you do this to me she like tortured me just seeing that I was like dying happy fan anniversary <laughs> Happy fan anniversary. Ryan missed vlogging and vlogmas. All right, when I get comfortable in front of the camera, she makes me take a, a tea break and then it's me awkward again. <laughs> He's charging his GoPro because we're going to go take some really cool pictures near some art, graffiti, and stuff like that. So it's going to be cool. Because yeah, your camera went. Yeah. Can we get Puss Be Clean? Did you have breakfast yet? No. Okay, let's go get Krispy Kreme then. Should I wear a bl black choker or gold? Talk gold. Just, yeah. What do you think this? Uh, Forever 21. Is it cashmere? Sure. If anyone asks, it's cashmere and I bought it. <laughs> we literally just got pulled over by the cops. My registration is expired and my mom is literally standing in the line right now to get my registration for my car. So that's really ironic. We got pulled over. Basically, my car has been expired since December 5th and it's really bad and I know but my mom like I guess the car registration is on my mom's name because it's like in her birthday month or something and she was in India this whole time so she couldn't do it so it's been expired and she like just got back and like her first order of business was to do it so she was literally in line like I left my house and she was like okay like you might not need emissions testing so like you know wait to wait for me to tell you and there's a really long line she was literally in line when this happened and so right when she pulled us over she was like um she was like asking me like what age i am and i literally stuttered so hard because i just turned 20 and like honestly like i can never i don't even know what age i am sometimes i don't know it's just weird i was like uh 20 <laughs> and um like, you don't know yeah i just turned 20 
me old doesn't matter. We're getting my emissions test done. Hopefully it's really fast. So then she took like, I don't know, it felt like forever that she went back to her car. I feel like all cops do that. So she was like, oh, it's your lucky day. My printer ran out while I was printing your ticket. And I was like, oh, like good. <laughs> you know, I was like, that's good. Like now we can spend that money on our dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We got donuts. Only the best Krispy Kreme kind because everyone in Florida eats Dunkin'. Correction, apparently Laura says only Orlando people eat Dunkin' because there's no Krispy Kremes around, so yeah. And I really don't know why they don't have a Krispy Kreme closer to our campus. It's literally like the closest one is like 30 minutes away, which sucks. We're here at Krog Street Tunnel, and obviously this isn't the tunnel, but we're gonna go in it soon. There's like all these murals that I didn't even know about. I actually wanted to go to Miami just for the Wynwood Walls and Sugar Factory, which now Orlando has. So, I don't know. I feel like this is like somewhere to Wynwood Walls. I think Wynwood Walls was actually pretty cool though, you know? Yeah, we didn't even see half of it. Yeah, they had much bigger murals like on every single wall there was like one full mural and it was really cool i feel like there's a lot of art in um atlanta we just don't even know where it is you know what i mean so this is crog street tunnel if you're coming to atlanta and want to like explore atlanta um this is definitely one of the things on someone's blog um blog post it was like 100 things to do in atlanta before you die and we did a lot already actually i should show you it it's really cool so as you guys know, I got a new lens from th for this camera, the Sony camera, the little one. And now, like I just started using this one again just cause I was like, okay, like I wanna check it out. I wanna like, you know, take pictures of the walls with this one. I haven't used it in so long for just like pictures. I've used it for like all my videos pretty much. Brian was like, it's showing off cause it wants me to use it more. It just like looks so much clearer than like everything else that I use. The color is like beautiful on this camera. Like I love that picture. That's really cool, isn't it? We're here at Krog Street Tunnel. So it has like graffiti everywhere. And we're gonna go explore inside. We just got to Piedmont Park. That's where you can see the really cool view. No wait, is it that? Oh no, it's that one. All the trees are blocking it right now, but that is the Aquafafina skating rink. And we're gonna go ice skating. I'm probably not gonna vlog in there th that much just because it is ice skating, but hopefully I can get some on my iPhone because I'm not trying to take this and like drop it on the ice. So I'll see you guys in there. I'm very scared. I don't know why I do this to myself. You excited? I like ice skating, so I'm okay. I like it too when I'm on the ice, but I'm scared right now. Ten minutes in, and we decided it was not fun. Mm -hmm. Like two minutes in, before we even started, I knew it was gonna be kind of weird. And the ice is really bad. There's like big lumps in it. Like you could. It's my hand ring. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't even skate on the ice. Like it was so bad. They didn't even have a zamboni. And my sister, I actually just saw her and her boyfriend walk past here, and we like came out, and that was really weird because it was just so coincidental. But anyways, so. She was like, these places, they just do the Zamboni thing at the night. I don't know anything about ice skating rinks, but it honestly sucked. I do not recommend going to Aqua, what's it called? Aquafina at Piedmont Parks. It's cheap, not worth it. So not worth it. So we took off our skates and we were gonna go return them to get our shoes back because they like did a swap with us. And we stood on like the soaking wet ground for like a good 15 minutes because they wouldn't like they wouldn't take our skates. Only one person was working. All of a sudden these two other people came out and like started helping. Didn't have our skates on. We were like standing on wet ground. We just wanted our friggin' shoes so we could leave. Then I called Skyline Park. <laughs> <sighs> Literally, you guys know I like hate bad customer service. I was like, hey, are you guys closed for a private event today? And she said, no. And it was on speaker and Ryan laughed so loud because he knows like we both hate like that. We both hate when people are so rude, you know? It was a very short conversation, but it was like so incredibly rude. I was like, what the hell? Like, do you even work there? Like, is this the wrong number type thing? <laughs> like, what the heck? We're gonna have some good food tonight. Yeah, where are we going? We tried to go to Umi, but there were no reservations for the next like week. <laughs> so I couldn't get reservations. But sorry, this sounds really bright, but um, <laughs> So, Sona wanted to go to a place called Rumi's Kitchen, and it's a Persian, it's a Persian place. Yeah. And we're gonna eat some kebabs. 
So as you can see, the sun just came out. Skies are getting blue-ish, you know? Um, it was super, super gloomy, so this is like a very big step up. Getting up on the deck of Pond City Market is $10 only, which honestly is like totally worth it. Seeing the view, like you can like drink up here, I guess, and you know when you're older. What? There's no outside. Yeah, you can't bring food up here because obviously they sell it separately. I mean, there sh there should be like one thing that comes with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, Not sure. just like a few. We are like at the restaurant. It's called it's Nine Mile Station. Nine Mile Station, and we're honestly just here because we wanted to get close, well I wanted to get closer with you and we're just gonna get like mixed mushrooms as our appetizer and then just go to Rumi's Kitchen go after. to Rumi's Kitchen because there wasn't that many things like on the menu that like looked that amazing and we kind of just like want to take advantage of the time that we have here especially waiting for sunset comment down below if you think our matching henna fingers are cute I kind of fricked it up. What was that? Hmm. Cheers to four years. Water. <laughs> I feel like Ryan never orders sodas at restaurants though. I let her order one and drink it. Yeah, that's so true. He drinks my Sprite every time. Our food came out. We got stuffed mushrooms. Of course, we can't eat it for another 10 minutes until she gets her pictures taken. Hmm? I don't know why I have to see so much today. Do you like it? Yeah, do you? <laughs> so we are arriving at Rumi's kitchen. We're gonna get some yummy kebabs and rice and everything like that. I got the Sultani kebabs and he got duck leg and what is this? Some tartar. <laughs> Some type of spread, and she's gonna bring out bread. Yummy? 